Or Vietnamese. <laughs> Ready? And action. I know I said in one of my recent videos that this PC was not much of a priority of mine, but I want it to be. I want it to be done already because, you know, what always happens whenever I start a personal build of my own, new processors launch. But we're not upgrading this one, there's no point. We just need to finish it. You know what guys, I got new merch. It's available now, crowdme.com slash jc cents. We got zip up hoodies, we got tri-blend, we got a new logo. I digress, since 2012, it's a digress logo. You guys have been asking for that. But anyway, we're all kind of, blah, 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 blah. we got all kinds of stuff. Zip up hoodies, beanies, polos. Don't take my word for it, because obviously I can't do this ad. So just look in the description below and you guys will find the link. Thanks. <laughs> You know, the reality here is we are like 90% done with this. The only thing I really need to do is put the, uh, the SSDs in, which are somewhere, and then finish the loop and wire it up. Now, in terms of custom wiring, I still have to order those from Cable Mod. They are my cable, ex uh, they are my cable sponsor, and I use them for all my builds, but I can't do that without measuring. I have to know, and, and this is a very different type of system when it comes to the way the cables route. Typically, with any case, you just go with the standard links, you're probably fine. But when you go with something like this, standard links aren't gonna work because if we look at the backside here, the power supply, which I scratched the cover for, is gonna go right here. And the cables are just gonna have to go through there and then like around and up over here. So what I've gotta to do today, if everything goes according to plan, I might actually have water going through this loop because I have to flush it. I cannot just put water in here and then just call it a day because of the fact that when we have plated tubes like we have here, these go into like an acid bath and stuff and they, for the plating process. So you can see the inside has a bunch of like residual from that coating process. So we're gonna have to flush the system out for a while and get it really clean, otherwise we're just gonna be dealing with issues. But then I also need to um, hook up this power supply so I can start getting my links. So as I started to say, if everything goes according to plan today, we should have a running loop and then at least my measurements here so that when we come back for our final piece, it will just be, well, I guess B-roll and benchmarks. I'm excited about these graphics cards though. These, these are 2080 Ti for the Win 3s with secret sauce BIOS on them, which will allow them to overclock very, very far. And my system at home is um, in dire need of a retirement. Skunkworks is ready to come back to the studio and go on display or something, but I'm, I'm just ready for a, a change of scenery. And then this is what's gonna be allowing me to then start my home office remodel, which now includes new carpet because of a husky puppy. We'll just leave it at that. It's a very sore subject. Let's just, let's just go. <laughs> gotcha. Ooh, did you catch it? Dude! So Jay has the superpower where he can catch things, but only if he's not aware of them before he catches it. Well, it's not just catching things. It's like, like somehow in the middle of my head there, I was able to calculate the bounce angle and where it was gonna be and then like caught it down there. But seeing it happen, like, and then thinking to myself, oh, I've got to catch this, never happen. it's never gonna happen. The power cable for these 1600s, man. I'm telling you. This is a 1600 T2, so it's a titanium rated power supply. Dun, 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 dun. Wires. That's what I was looking for, <laughs> the screws. So I was concerned that this power supply was gonna be so long that it would have crazy bends coming out the end, but that's clearly not the case. So if I go ahead and I can't mount it down in there right now. I'm just doing a bit of a test fit because this has to be mounted in there when I do it. But that's how the power supply is gonna be. You can see we've definitely got some slack there. Because I, it would have been nice to be able to mount it to this and then mount that in there. But obviously you can't get to those screws. Metric didn't fit, but the Imperial quarter inch did. Boom, 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 boom. So the power supply is in and the way that this works same thing with like your IO and stuff, like your USBs and stuff, they come through here and then come back through here because there's fans there. So this, I was about to be like, uh oh, is that not gonna fit? <laughs> there we go, see? So that's what that hole's for right there. Keeps it all nice and neat. And then there it is coming out the back. I, I'll give Inwin a lot of credit on a lot of things, but this is dumb. I don't like this. Because to plug them in, you've got to open it. But when you open it, you just, it's like you can't move the cables. And I wish I could just put this through right there. The clip won't let me. So it comes out at a 90, goes straight up, 
comes over here and then kind of does like a radius bend. There's like a radius right here in this cable. I think the measurement from the end of the plug to right there would be proper. So that is 18 inches. What is 18 inches in millimeters? The answer is 457.2 millimeters. That. <laughs> 18 inches is probably too long, let me do 17. So I use the cable mod configurator um, to do all these cables. So I get all my links and stuff and then I go in there and when I use the cable mod configurator, um, I can put the links that I want. It's all in millimeters, so that's why I have to convert it. Meanwhile, the rest of the world, no, you have to convert it because you're American. Well, yeah, I know that. We're not alone though, there's three countries in the world that use Imperial, so. And then the English still use miles. If you're, if you're triggered by that, you really should rethink your priorities and what makes you mad. All right, so 24 pin is 435 millimeters. So what I wanna do with the cables is I want them to both kind of come up and then sort of like thread together like that and then go back together through this hole straight into the power supply. So they're all gonna be eight pin. So these are, all, these are 16 and a half, which I guess makes sense because the 24 pin is farther back and it's having to make that climb up and, and over. It's 400. All right, so we'll call it 420. 420. 420. So here's the thing regarding the CPU. The Intel 10980XE is the same core count as the, 9, the 980, no, 9980XE, which is in here now. I mean, I feel like I want to put the 10980 in here to be like to be the newest thing, but I also feel like I want the 10980 to be available for other testing and stuff versus Threadripper and, and all that. So I don't really want to tie it up in my personal rig. There's no core count benefit to it. I don't want to go with a higher density core count, which I've already said before, because I'm only going to hurt gaming performance more if I, if I scale up. I'm already, I'd already be at 18 cores. So yeah, I think I'm just going to stick the 9980XC in here. It's not one of those things where it's like, oh, no, this is a pleb computer. Anyone that thinks the 9980XE is a pleb computer, my God, I want whatever you do for a living. Okay, so now I need to see if I can't get this loop up and running. This resonance, is like 95% perfect. But they force you to mount it this way to where the cable's facing you. So then the cable has to make some crazy like wrap around and it doesn't have a channel or anything to do it neatly. I don't want to put it there. It's too close to the fan. Going down, it's too far in my opinion. I, I feel like this is a bit of an oversight on Singularity's part on like the, the, the power wire for this. They didn't really think about that very well. Here's this gorgeous thing, but we're gonna make the power wire just be like in your face. I wish all wires were Bluetooth because wiring really screws up a computer. All right, so I'll, I'll move on to the wiring stuff later. I was just sort of ADDing. Wiring was not my intent right now. So it kind of sucks that these are not on the same plane. But like I said, because of that. In and out on the CPU matter. In and out on the GPU don't. I only had this in on the GPU because the out was the taller of the two tubes that are in parallel. And I thought that'd be easier to make air move, but that's, not as important. So, I mean, it, it'll, the air will move. So what I could technically do is I could switch this so that out is there and then use my spacers to get these up. And then that would be the in. So it'd be like that into there. These would go over and then go out there to the GPU or to the radiator. I just wish I had a chop saw. I'm constantly coming up with new ways to try and make this job a little easier. Nice. It's pretty smooth, wow. right? And there's some scratches on there, but that's okay. It's the backside. So now that that is on, our CPU and our GPU loop are now connected. It's at an angle, but whatever, I don't care. So that'll connect to the reservoir that's right there. I need to trim this one down. Let's scratch that all up right there. Stop doing that. I think anyone that's worked on any computer build long enough will agree with me that eventually you just get sick of them. Like by the time you're done, you're like, I don't even care anymore. The difference between now and like why the builds take so long is because back when I worked out of my home, I could just go work on it in the evenings. Like, oh, I'm going to work on it a couple hours here and there. But when you leave the office, you don't go back to it to work on it. Stupid thing. You don't go back to it. <laughs> I'm not gonna drive all the way back over here to work on it, you know? Yeah, the only build we did that for was the Destiny one. And then it literally wouldn't have gotten done if we did, if we hadn't done that. Probably not. 
Yeah, that build is like literally when you're watching like overhauling or whatever, and they're like putting the last bolts in as the guy's like waiting on the other side of the curtain. It was kind of like that. I keep, I have to file these edges smooth and then sand them and stuff. Otherwise, not only will it not fit into the fitting very smoothly or easily, it'll shave and slice the crap out of the fitting on its way in. That's why this is taking so much longer than any PTT build. There's so much more work that has to be done to the actual tube. She can hold air. She can probably hold water. <laughs> I hate this build. Fuck. And done. Piece of cake. Ew. It's too short. I'm all for any methods to do this faster. This clearly won't work on a 90, but go down to the torque setting. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> now it's already chucked up for this. <laughs> Dang, I wish that these were on the same plane. Like that way I could just do a single 90 into it, it would be so clean. Unless, yeah, that might work. And if that works, do you know what sucks about that? It means I would be one fitting short. So in my amazing organizational abilities, I put my Alpha Cool fitting in my Corsair box. All right, so I changed this from the long extension from this guy to the half extension based on the length of that. So it's half that extension because I didn't feel like I was having enough room to make my 90 degree radius here. I'm using the offset 90 like this so that I can line it up with the hole. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this piece of PETG, where's my cutter? Oh, it's up here. To make my template, and then I will use my template to mark my metal tube. That way I can then get it to all line up because I'm all out of new 90s. I've used them all. All I've got now are my leftovers from different pieces I've cut. Okay. Time to do the blow test. Okay, I think it's time to try and fill this thing. All right, it is uh, filled, now it's bleeding. There's gonna be some air in the radiators for a bit. There's gonna be some air in the blocks, some micro bubbles stuck to things. So that's why when you're doing your leak tests and stuff, letting it run will help, definitely help bleed that. You'll probably see your reservoir level go down a little bit over time. This is where you also need to start doing all your tilting to help promote. See how we got more bubbles to move? A lot of bubbles to move. This is a PWM pump. So what I'd like to do right now is I'd like to slow it down and have it not run so fast. Cause when it's running so fast, it sucks a lot of the bubbles back in before they can get up to here and let the air settle at the top. Another reason why I really do like reservoir, uh, tube reservoirs better than distro block stuff like this. This has a lot more work involved to get it all truly bled, but it looks super clean when it's all done. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Cause this loop is finally complete. Glad I found that fitting at the last second because I did not want to wait longer for that. So the next video you guys see on this will be its completion with it fully running, all the lighting being set up to the nebula theme, uh, whatever I'm gonna do for the bridge right there to try and get the bridge themed with the whole nebula thing. And then we are going to uh, let this leak test because oh. I've got so many fittings and things in here. This is one that I truly believe needs a leak test to feel 100% confident that we're not gonna be dripping water anywhere. So on the backside, everything looks good. I'm not seeing any fittings or any drips. But what we're gonna do while we just let that go is sort of put paper towels kind of throughout. You wanna use clean paper towels, not dirty ones, because if they're dirty, how are you gonna know if they're fresh drops or old drops? So, finally I made some sort of progress on this thing. Still not taking anywhere near as long as the Post Malone build. And I can guarantee you the owner of this one will definitely appreciate it more. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching this super long build log from my personal rig, Nebula. We will see you guys in the next one.
with the cool, the, let me do that again. <laughs>